and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm back today with another video. And if you're not subscribed yet, you need to subscribe now. Yeah, I'm going to tell it every time I come here. I'm going to stop telling Anyways, today I will be doing a, another uh, chat video, um, which is a part of my chat series. So if you've already seen my college advice video, uh, my chat series is basically just me giving you tips and advice based on my own personal life experiences so if you're ready let's get into it so the topic of today's video is Comparison is a thief of joy, which is a quote that was said by a former U.S. president, Theodore Roosevelt. So, let's first get into what does this mean. So, essentially what the quote is saying is that comparing yourself to others is taking away your joy or your happiness. And it's also depriving you of the things that you do have while also cursing you for the things that you don't have. So we see this a lot in different aspects of our lives. And a big one, a very, very big one is social media. A lot of times you get on social media and you see a lot of different people with a lot of different types of lifestyles. Social media is already a place where a lot of people tend to go off to show off their luxuries, show off the things that they do have or the things that they've accomplished or the things that they've done in their life um, over the course of their life. And a lot of times you get on there and you see these social media personalities and all these other people, they're doing big things, they're becoming homeowners, they're getting their own cars, they're doing all these big fancy things, which is great for them. But it's important for us as individuals to remember that nobody's life is the same and no one lifestyle is a linear process. So we can't really compare ourselves to those people because we're not living the same lives. But a lot of people tend to start thinking um, very critically of themselves in the sense that if they're not a homeowner or they don't have their own LLC or their own business, if they're not driving their own cars, if they don't, if they're not making six figures, you know, and the likes by the age of 23, 24, and they don't have a family or starting a family and the likes, like they're not doing enough with them, with, with their lives. And that's absolutely not true. Um, social media allows us to think that way. Another big one is if you don't have a certain type of body, um, a lot of times it puts forth a lot of negative body images for people um, because people are watching other social media um, personalities do these things or have these types of bodies. And it gives you the impression that if you don't look like that and if you're not living that kind of lifestyle, that you're not doing anything with your life. And that's absolutely not true. Um, so it's important for us to realize um, how social media operates and what it's doing and to know that um, you shouldn't be comparing yourself to these people because y'all are not the same. Y'all are not the same. <laughs> Two different people. An example of where we see this type of uh, behavior or like people where people tend to compare themselves to each other um, is in academic spaces. And I am a student, so I often tend to look at um, different types of things and how they affect other students. Um, and it's just like, you see a lot of students tend to compare themselves to each other. I've seen that a lot in different um, areas of my college career so far, where a lot of students tend to think, oh, well, if I don't have a 3.5 and my friend has a 3.8, I'm not doing enough. Or, you know, um, you're comparing yourself to your friend and sometimes it's like, People are getting jealous of each other and, um, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
And again, it's important to understand that you shouldn't be comparing yourself to your friend or whoever. And it will also say it with like one person getting an internship before the other. Or even in the workforce, um, promotion, people getting promoted over the other person, you know, the likes. Um, comparison, comparing yourself to others like that. It essentially like you aren't able to celebrate your own small wins. You aren't able to celebrate your own wins at all because you're focused on what the other person is doing. And it's important for us to move away from that type of behavior. So I just gave you all like two examples of how uh, comparison um, affects us in different aspects of life. And feel free to comment down below in other ways that you've seen comparison affect others. So now I want to move away from examples and the likes and I want to get into some things that we can do about it. And I have my notes written down because y'all know I always have my notes. Um, so first, you want to make sure that when you are comparing yourself to someone else for whatever the reason may be, try to make a mental note of it or try to write it down because I think a lot of times we compare ourselves to other people but we don't realize that we're doing it because we're not doing it consciously. So you want to make a mental note of it, write it down somewhere um, so you can like have that in your head like, okay, I was comparing today. What can I do about it? You know? Um, so the second thing, as I had mentioned before, um, when you're comparing yourself to others, you tend to lose sight of your own wins. Um, so you want to try to start celebrating your small wins. And not just the small wins. Obviously, you celebrate the big wins. You celebrate all the wins because a win is a win point blank, period. But you want to celebrate even those small wins because you can never be too grateful for the things that you have. Um, so focus on the things that you do have and not the things that you don't have. The next thing is, um, which I think like it helps for a lot of people that I know and for myself as well, social media detox, baby social media detox okay for me um getting off social media because i'm unable to see all that stuff you know getting a little break to enjoy me to understand learn myself and being able to just like be in my own space um is really helpful um so try you a social media detox okay next thing is to realize and understand that no one is perfect no one is perfect okay adam wasn't perfect eve wasn't perfect you ain't perfect i ain't perfect the person you was yesterday wasn't perfect the person you comparing yourself to isn't perfect none of us are perfect if we was perfect we wouldn't be here so no one is perfect and to be completely honest no one needs to be perfect that's not what it's about just try to be the best version of you that you can possibly be but no one is perfect okay next you want to try this is something that's been helpful for me as well um try to compare yourself if you have to do any type of comparison compare the you of today to the you of yesterday and i don't mean like literally yesterday but i mean like the you of today versus the you of last year you from today to your last birthday, how have you changed? How have you progressed? How have you become better? In what aspects of life have you changed? So try to, if you have to compare anything to anything or anyone to anyone, compare yourself to yourself. Look at how you've progressed and how you've changed over time. That's the best way to compare. Okay, so uh, the next thing you wanna do is focus on your strengths. So I'm going to say this because I really do believe it. Um, you are your own worst judge. You will judge yourself more than anybody else will judge you. There are things that you will see about yourself that other people may not see. You are your own worst judge. And as your own worst judge, a lot of us tend to think about our weaknesses first. We tend to think about our weaknesses first before we think about our strengths. So moving forward, try to think about your strengths a little bit more. Try to think about the things that you're good at. Try to think less about your weaknesses and more about your strengths. And 
if all else fails and you just feel like you got to compare yourself to somebody because that's the best way to become the best version of yourself, compare yourself as a form of inspiration and not a form of like, don't like, don't use it as a way to belittle yourself. Use it as a way to help you become better and not to tear yourself down. And last but not least, focus on your own grass. Because I'm telling you this right now, the grass is not always green on the other side. Sometimes it might be, but sometimes it's not. It's not always green on the other side. Sometimes I got people in me out and over the dry. They might go through dry spill. They might go through droughts. So now go over the other things say yeah them have green grass because that's not always the case but stop comparing yourself to people it's not worth it it's not worth your your mental health and it's not worth like you're lowering your self-esteem or your confidence um worry about you and how you can be the best version of you and that's it for the video so i hope y'all are doing well and y'all are self-caring and taking care of yourself and remember my love on the bye Mwah. have a good rest of your day